All right, working on a little Briggs again today, and uh, I'm uh, cleaning it up so it, it takes uh, very little epoxy to make it look pretty good. But uh, you're probably getting quite a bit of reflection here. But I got the top fin. I've been working on that with the Dremel, and I got that pretty good. I like that. You know, it's it's to a point where I, I probably wouldn't even need any uh, epoxy on here, but uh, you can see. You see how level and smooth I got it. So it's, it's pretty good. I like that. Now, and even, even the fins. I, I mean, I hit it with the this uh, flap wheel. I think it's a 40 grit flap wheel. And I, I sort of got all the fins at once. So they're, they're all pretty much to the same distance now. And I got them to a point where, you see the holes? Them holes are where the push rod goes. And I knew I was going to have to put a little divot in there because... The original fin had a divot. This this here I haven't touched this fin, that's an original. And it's to a point where it can almost go in there, so I I'm only gonna have to put a, a tiny bit of a divot in the fin, which is uh which is gonna be nice. You know, it'll it'll ride right alongside the fin. So that'll be okay. But uh I'm gonna work on it now and I don't know if you can see it, but these back fins were a little thicker than the front ones, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring them to a point, you know, and you, you sort of create an illusion. You're not going to get them perfect, but unless you sit down and get this close and look at them, you're not going to tell, you know, when somebody's standing up looking at the whole thing, you, you know, it's all going to look good. Even the original fins are, are irregular, you know. These things weren't built to be uh, pieces of art, they were just, just made to function, so... Alright, I'm going to start uh, working on these. I'll probably use uh, the 4 inch diamond wheel and, and sort of bring these to a point and see what we can do with them. Alright, sit back and relax. I'll do that and get back with you. Okay, all right, I got the tops of them all, all pretty much flat, and they uh, they all came out much better than I expected. You know, it's only the edges, you know, that people are going to see. They're not going to look inside there, so it doesn't matter how how fat it gets inside. Just you want the the fins on the outside to pretty much look uniform, and uh, it looks pretty good. It may look like hell on camera, but uh, it looks good right here. Took off quite a bit. If you look at my shirt here, quite a bit of brass. It's all over me. Alright, what I'm going to do is uh, turn it over and uh, just thin them up a little bit more and it should be perfect. Alright, I got the bottom of the fins and uh, I'm real happy with this. this. This came out better than I expected. There's uh, hardly going to be any epoxy on this at all. But what I got to do now is uh, get the Dremel and then uh, just scuff up everything anywhere that the epoxy is going to go so the, there'll be no failure and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll also put these little divots in there for the push rods alright All right, I'm going to mark out where the the little holes go the little, the little divots this here ain't the push rod this here is just a piece of brass tubing and it's small enough that I could put it in there and line it up 
with this divot here and put it in there and this will this will give me a little bit of a guideline I think what I'm going to do is uh, try using a little one inch grinder here at a one inch diamond wheel and just make a divot and then maybe we'll file. Let's see how that works. I said I want to go deeper than I really have to. I don't know, I don't know if I'm in your way. hitting with a file here and that was working I know I'm going back and forth I know I'm wearing the file out but uh, it's okay it's only a 50 cent flea market file and it's not wearing it out enough to worry about there's a different one I got two different sizes here and two different courses this one this here is pretty coarse and that was working pretty good but it was going slow so I got this. This is one of them drills that you can uh, go sideways with. I forgot what they call them, but uh, I have a set of them, and it was working pretty good. Except for the last one. I can't get the last one because I'll be hitting the, the hole in the block, and I don't want to do that. So I'll do that last one by hand. But uh, this was working pretty good. Doesn't look like it's doing much, but it is. It's, it's actually cutting down pretty good. So let me uh, let me do that a little more, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, I got that, that one indent here on the side, and uh, j just it's not much of an indent, but just just enough to to clear the the valve. You see the hole there? Uh, I don't have the valves yet, or the valve the valve stems, whatever you call them, push rods. Let's call them push rods. But I got this uh, stainless steel. Bolt, I guess that's a quarter inch. And uh, if you look at it, there's plenty of clearance, so it's not going to hit. And that's what we're looking for. So, uh, yeah, a few people had concerns about that one. No one to do about that, so no worries. Alright, now I'm going to do this one over here. You can see it actually goes in a hole, and it's you know, it's touching the, the bottom one, but uh, you really don't need much of an indent at all. But since you already had the factory indent in there, I'm going to... Actually looks better with, a, with the shadow. Yeah, so just to match the factory indent, uh, I'm going to do that. Alright, let me do the other side there and uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, got both sides done there. I'm happy with it. You know, I, I like I like the little indent. It gives it a little bit of character. This is the one with the last one we just did. It's got about a quarter inch, not not a quarter. I mean about an eighth inch clearance. There's no way it's going to hit the fins, especially when you got the rock arm holding that in place. And this one here is the same. So, all right, we're happy with that. You guys happy with that? All right. Like I say, let me uh, we'll abrade the rest of it and. Uh, Get it ready for epoxy and then uh, we'll see what we can do. 
Alright, I got you in my left hand now, so it's going to be a little jittery, a little shaky. I'm not used to this. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to take the Dremel, and we got to get down in here. I got a, like a little ball on the end of that. And then we got to get in here, and we got to scrape all this so that the epoxy has something to stick to. Let me turn around, let me see what we can do here. See, I got a little bit of it there. The reason it was jumping around so long because I, I have that sticking out pretty far on the, the Dremel. Because I, ha I, I want to be able to get in there. So Let me get some of that and then we'll look at it again. Alright, I just spent about an hour cleaning that all up and everything with the little Dremel and everything. And I'm, I'm pretty happy and satisfied that uh, I got it the best I can get it, you know. You're not going to get it 100%, but uh, 95 or 98% is... Uh, good enough to hold it so all right let me put the light on maybe we will show you how nice and shiny it is all right all right so uh, that's where we're at I think in the next video uh, we can finally do some epoxy and then uh, finish this block up all right if you guys uh, are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, uh, do us a favor and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And if you're not, well, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, that's where we're at with this one, and uh, I say enough of this. Alright, see you guys in the next one.